bit more of the other side of the egg shape just then. What I typically like to do, is I usually don't, when I drive out of that corner, I don't come back to the, uh, to the right side of the track more than about halfway. And I let the thing just kind of fall into here. Usually I can stay about two to three feet off that curb. Let the thing drift up into this area right here. The neat thing about the exit here is that depending on your speed through here, will depend on where you're going to be over there. Since the exit is so big, the exit line is about 20 feet difference variation there. So it's not like if you get it back down over here, you're going to be able to get them throttle and drive out of the corner better. You can send them hard. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind. If you don't find, if you find yourself by the feet from six feet off the curb right where Brock is there, that's fine. As long as you're able to carry momentum or whatever. Um, just know that until you get about 20 feet by Brock, you really can't increase the throttle any. Okay? This is all kind of neutral throttle area. One thing I want you guys to kind of watch when they come into here uh, is that we're also kind of fortunate that they're actually coming into a right-hander because we can see their fingers as they trail break into this corner. So pay attention to their fingers and where their head is, okay? And where they're looking as well, okay? Since this corner is so long and continuous, like as I come through here, I've already got my head looking where Brock is, right? I get about five to six more feet up here. I know that I'm already headed towards Brock is, I'm looking at the exit, okay? That's how far I'm tracking my eyes. Watch their fingers and their head position. of this turn to the mini street. Yep. And then I just kind of break 
straight up and flip her in there. Yep. And I try to drag my knee right over that curb and then let it float out a little bit right in here. Yep. And if you're carrying a lot of speed and work in the front, but if you can, if you can get it to turn, be patient on the gas and then get her on, stand up, and try to stay inside. Or inside as you can on this exit. Go to the gas hard and you'll wind up at the That's why we kind of concentrate on this corner yesterday and today. I wanted you guys to see different perspectives of each each uh, view of the corner. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at it this way too. Straightaway in between them, so you got to kind of make a straightaway in between them. Yeah. Okay, right on. Okay, let's move on. Thanks, Jamie. 